what is truly canon in the Batman Arkham universe? So, the Arkham games, like most superhero universes, has a collection of games, comics, movies, things to create an established universe. The Arkham universe, or Arkhamverse, is no exception. But something that's very annoying and very confusing about the Arkhamverse is how unclear and inconsistent a lot of the quote-unquote canon is. Besides the mainline games, there's things like there's a movie, mobile games, spin-off DS games, comic books, with most of it unclear if it actually happened or not. And yeah, if you don't know what canon means, it basically just means what actually officially happened in the universe, like, like what actually happened, right? So in this video, I'm going to talk about not just the games, but the comics and everything in between, like a movie that happened or Suicide Squad Killer Justice League. And I'm going to let you know if I think it's canon or not, or if it's like a maybe, because I'm not in charge of the universe, but I'll tell you what I think is canon or not. So let's get on with the video. What is truly canon in the Arkhamverse? I'm really trying to get 100,000 subscribers this year. I'm so close. So if you enjoy my content or watch my videos every so often, please consider subscribing. But let's move on. So let's just talk about the main source of canon first. The games. The mainline Arkham games. Batman Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, Arkham Origins, and Arkham Knight. And Suicide Squad Killer Justice League. We'll talk about that. So for the Batman Arkham games first, they are all obviously canon. They are the foundation for everything else surrounding it. Batman Arkham Origins is canon. Arkham Asylum is canon. Arkham City is canon. And Arkham Knight is canon. It goes without saying, but I'm making this point to say that even though these games are 100% canon, there are still inconsistencies between the games. There's a whole page on the Arkham Wiki, if you want to check it out, that explains a lot of these inconsistencies. Some of the more notable ones to me are like how in Arkham Asylum, it's stated that Harley met Joker in Arkham Asylum, but in Arkham Origins, the prequel game, we see that she meets him in Blackgate. So you know, there's things like that, but you have to forgive inconsistencies here in the mainline games because they're the mainline games. They're the foundation for everything else to be canon. I bring this up because we're gonna talk about this topic with the other Arkham stuff later on. So yes, the first four mainline Arkham games are canon, and to add on to that, the next official entry into the Arkham games, Batman Arkham Shadow, will also be 100% canon. The developers are being very careful into making sure this game is consistent with the game's lore and this game's continuity, and it's also an official entry, like Arkham City was an official entry. This game is going to be canon. Okay, cool. So let me just say this right off the get. Let me make this clear. These five Arkham games, Asylum, City, Origins, Night, and Shadow, are all canon. Everything else I'm about to talk about is simply not canon. Or let me say it like this, nothing's been confirmed to be canon except for Suicide Squad Killed Just League, but we'll talk about that in a, in a second here. Everything beyond this point on what I discuss is my head canon. Head canon meaning like what I think actually happened between everything else I'm about to talk about here. So we're gonna break down every other piece of Archimedia. And I'm going to let you know what I think could be canon using evidence and what for sure isn't canon using ev evidence. Because like I said, nothing else beyond this point outside Suicide Squad Killed the Justice League has ever been confirmed to be canon. So this is my take on it all. So moving on to Suicide Squad Killed the Justice League. L look, Rocksteady, the company that is responsible for all these games, said this game is canon to the timeline. So that should settle all arguments, right? Like, okay, this game is canon. However, an overwhelmingly large number of fans' headcanon is that this game is not canon. Like this is in another universe or something. And I'm one of those people too. I'm there with you, pal. I get this may sound absurd, like, like bro, these guys made the game. We're just a bunch of nerds that can't dictate what's canon or not, but I don't care. This game makes no sense. How did the Justice League lose a Brainiac while a Suicide Squad can beat them? Why is Batman losing to these chumps when he clearly has beat them with ease before? There's so many things that are just wrong with this game. Very inconsistent. Everything is just so wrong to the point that if it is canon, it's a huge, huge blemish and terrible sequel to the Arkham franchise. It makes everything feel kind of pointless or feels it makes everything feel kind of worse in this world. So to me, it's not canon. To a whole lot of other people, it's not canon. But Rocksteady said it is canon. I'm going to say this word a lot, canon, so just bear with me here. So if you believe this game actually happened in this universe, I'm not going to stop you. But for the sake of this video, and for my head canon, like I said before, this is not canon. 
And do you see what I'm saying? The more this video progresses, the more blurry the line gets on what actually is official or not. But let's talk about the other Arkham games, like Arkham Origins Blackgate. This was a spin-off game, I guess, of Arkham Origins, on the DS, where Batman goes to Blackgate to find escaped prisoners like Joker. Now, is this canon to me? I'm going to say no, for this one reason. Solomon Grundy is in the game. He's a boss fight in, in the game. In Batman Arkham City, it's not outright said, but the way you meet Grundy in Arkham City and how the shot is framed in the cutscene really implies that this is the first time Batman meets Solomon Grundy here in Arkham City. Again, this is like not confirmed, but the way they introduce him in that game made me think Batman first saw Solomon Grundy in Arkham City. So with Blackgate, Batman says Grundy's name as if he's fought him before. So to me, that's kind of a continuity error. And this game is also never referenced in the mainline games, I believe. So maybe this game's canon, but in my personal opinion, it is not. It's not official to the Arkham series. Let's talk about something stupider, like the mobile game, Arkham City Lockdown. I don't even know why I'm bringing this up. If you care to learn more about it, just look it up. It's not canon. It's like a Netherrealm fighting game. If you want proof it's not canon though, Deathstroke's in the game, and Deathstroke and Arkham Knight said the last time him and Batman fought was in Arkham Origins. So there you go, this game, not canon. Next, there's Batman Arkham VR. This is kind of like a tech demo that came out post Arkham Knight, but it is a prequel to Arkham Knight in the continuity of the universe. It's about Batman's psyche going into like a downward spiral. I actually think this is canon. There's nothing in the game that contradicts anything, and it serves as a good mini prequel to Arkham Knight. So I do think that this game is actually canon. Okay, so that's enough for the games. The five mainline games, Asylum, City, Origins, Night, and Shadow are all canon. Suicide Squad, the devs say it's canon, but the people, aka us, say it's not. And see, now it's getting weird. Arkham City Lockdown, not canon. I don't even know why I'm talking about this stupid game. But Arkham VR is canon, at least to me. And Arkham Origins Blackgate, to me, it's not canon. But that's all up to you. But do you see what I'm saying? Now the line is getting blurry because who am I to decide? Uh, again, I know this is my head canon, but nothing outside the main games is really ever confirmed to be canon. So honestly, it's just up to you and what you see is or isn't. The way I decide it is that if something has a continuity error or anything of that sort, I usually consider it not official, unless it's a main game with a continuity error, because you can't make the main games not canon. They're the main games, unless it's Suicide Squad. They're the foundation, but everything else surrounding it, I think it's fair game to do that. But let's move on outside the games. How about a movie? Batman Assault on Arkham. Now, if you haven't seen this movie, I recommend it. It's actually a really good film. I liked it a lot, and it is set in the Arkhamverse. However, this movie being canon is like, eh. Considering the movie is about the Suicide Squad and King Shark's in the movie and he dies, which messes up with the fact that he's in Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, can be confusing to people. But like, you know, that could have been a different King Shark. There is a King Shark lineage thing in the comics, so yeah, that's a thing. But my thing is, since me and other people don't consider Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League canon, can this be canon instead? You see, it's getting more confusing. To me, I think that this movie is canon, in my head canon, because it's a well done movie that, in my opinion, doesn't interfere with the mainline game's continuity. So that's what I think. But that's all up to you. But I think generally speaking, people are either indifferent about this movie or just believe it to not be canon, not be official. So there's the movie, but let's talk about the other main forms of Arkham content, I guess you could say. The comics. There's a ton of Arkham comics. Every single mainline game has a prequel comic, except for Arkham Shadow, at least right now. And the comics get kind of weird. Let's talk about these comics though, and which ones I think can be considered canon or not. So let's start with something simple, Batman Arkham Asylum. It had a prequel comic called The Road to Arkham. The whole story basically takes place like 15 minutes before the events of the game where Batman and Oracle discuss why it was so easy to catch the Joker, as well as some other villains he caught recently. So this comic, I think, is canon because it's a pretty self-contained story with nothing that I saw that really interferes with the mainline game's continuity. And also, very rare for a comic book, but an event in this comic does tie in with the actual game. The doctor, Sarah Cassidy, in the story is kidnapped by Victor Zace and is nearly killed by her until Batman saves her. In the actual game, in Victor Zace's final audio log, it does reveal that he goes to Dr. Sarah Cassidy's house to kidnap her. And we know she's okay because in the game, she's an NPC that you can talk to. So with a direct connection like that from the comic straight to the game, and with the comic not having any continuity errors, 
I think that Batman The Road to Arkham is canon. Now, next up is the Batman Arkham City prequel comics, which, in my opinion, are not canon. And I'll try my best to explain. I'm not going to summarize. There's a bunch of comics, so I'm not going to summarize it. But I'm going to try to talk about it and tell you why some of these events aren't canon with some evidence. So one of the first issues of the series discusses these two cricks called, I think, TNT or something that work with Two-Face to get their hands on some Titan. And they actually use it on themselves instead of doing whatever Two-Face told them to do with it. And they become these giant Titan monsters. And as these giant Titan monsters, they blow up City Hall. I think it was City Hall. And then they unalive themselves in the process. This whole situation was like a huge starting point for why Arkham City was created. And this whole plot is never once mentioned in the game. Two-Face never mentions this in the game. Quincy Sharp never mentions it. Batman doesn't bring it up in Arkham City. So it just kind of feels odd. Like this is a very big event that happens. It's just kind of weird that's excluded. Another example is in the second issue. Joker and Harley escape Arkham Asylum on a boat. But then they get intercepted by Batman. And Batman and Joker talk to each other. Joker and Harley manage to escape from Batman, though, and get into Arkham City. This is inconsistent with the games where Joker mentions the Batman in the church mission that the last time they met was during the events of the game Batman Arkham Asylum. Remember, he says, like, how long has it been? There were some monsters, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, right? So, yeah. So that, to me, is an inconsistency. The third comic has Batman disguising himself as a thug inside Arkham City and working for the Joker and also disguises himself as a different thug to work for Penguin so he can learn more about Arkham City and the villains and what's going on inside. In the comic, he goes inside the steel mill and presumably understands the layout of the area. In Arkham City though, Batman asks Alfred for a way to get inside the steel mill at one point. This is nitpicking, I know this is probably nitpicking, but like, it, I guess it's a weaker point, but you would think Batman would know the layout to the steel mill by now. And they never once mentioned Batman, you know, disguising himself to work for the Joker in the game as well. So those are just some of the few inconsistencies, but even though I don't consider this comic canon, there are some tie-ins that kind of do connect pretty well to the games. Like you know how Poison Ivy is mad at Catwoman in the game because of some plant incident that she thinks is Selina's fault? That is mentioned in issue 4 of this series where after Ivy helped Selina escape Arkham City, she asked and reminded Selina to water her plants while she was busy somewhere else, which Presumably, Selina didn't do that. And also, the same issue has Joker killing doctors that are checking in on him in the steel mill, which is something that is mentioned in the game. And in the first issue, Quincy Sharp is seen being a puppet to Hugo Strange, something that is mentioned and consistent with the main game's lore. So while those are cool things to see in the comics, overall the events that happen here just aren't mentioned in the games, and the events here are pretty significant. And the way Batman sees Joker here, but Joker in Arkham City says the last time they met was in Asylum, leads me to believe that Arkham City prequel comics are not canon. However, and I bring this up once again because I'm going to play with this idea later on, some events from this comic I think can be considered canon more or less, like Ivy with her plants or Quincy Sharp with his schizophrenia, because those are mentioned in the games, but the specific events of how it all went down here in the comics on these topics, I would not consider canon. Does that make sense? Are you still with me here? That It makes sense, right? Let's just move on. The next comic I wanted to talk about is the Arkham Origins prequel comic. So this is a very unique comic because it's kind of like a do-it-yourself comic. Like an event happens and the book tells you to skip to a certain page to see one outcome or stay on the same page for the other. It's pretty cool. Like, there's one outcome where Penguin unmasks Batman and finds out he's Bruce Wayne, and it's like a game over kind of thing. It says dead end right here. It's kind of funny. So, obviously, these parts where it's like the dead end thing isn't canon. But what about the actual real outcomes that progresses the entire comic? So, just to say it, I don't think this comic's canon. This is a prequel to Arkham Origins. One of the inconsistencies in this book is that Gordon is shown to be a part of a vigilante team on GCPD. But like Batman is a myth at this point in the universe and not once in the game does it mention this. And to further add to that, Gordon sees Batman in the comic. In the game, he clearly doesn't believe Batman exists until he sees Batman. So like, you know what I'm saying? That's kind of weird. However, like the previous Arkham City comics, there are things here that can be taken into canon. A huge example is the Beacon Hotel in the comic. It's a setting here. This will be in Batman Arkham Shadow, the Beacon Hotel. So see, I guess that hotel specifically is canon, but this comic itself, in my opinion, is not. It sucks because there are cool moments in this story you don't ever see for Arkham Batman. Like Batman in this story comforts a little girl after her parents are killed right in front of her. 
But due to these events never being mentioned and the Gordon inconsistency, I believe this comic is not canon. Moving on from Arkham Origins, there's actually an Arkham novel called The Riddler's Gambit. So this is not a comic, it's a novel. And it covers the events for the Riddler between Arkham City and Arkham Knight. The whole plot of the story is Riddler trying to fill the Joker's role of being the big bad in Gotham. It pretty much involves him setting up like saw death traps for Batman and Robin to solve. It's a really interesting novel, honestly. I actually did read it. One of the highlights for me is the focus isn't all on Batman. It's on all his allies too, like specifically Robin. We get a lot more of the insight of Robin in this book. It's, it's really cool. I don't want to spoil what happens because I think it is an interesting book to read if you're interested. However, this book is not canon. There's one huge flaw with the book. At a certain part, Batman interacts with Oracle, like Oracle Oracle, and Batman literally says to himself, I wonder if she knows who I am. Like what? Why is Batman wondering if Oracle knows who he is? This this, this book takes place post Arkham City. Our, Oracle knows the identity of Batman, their allies. Why, why was this overlooked? It's really disappointing because I think this book is great. It's just so strange to me that this is a continuity error. Like, it makes no sense. How could you overlook that, especially placing this book post Arkham City? But because of that one continuity error, this book isn't canon. It just doesn't make sense. So that sucks, but I still recommend reading it if you want because it is pretty good. Now, next up are the Arkham Knight comics. There's a bunch of Arkham Knight comics. Let's start with the comic series just called Batman Arkham Knight. So these aren't canon. I don't think they're canon and so do a lot of other people. Comics are littered with continuity errors and inconsistencies. So these comics are pretty much events that happen right after Arkham City. One inconsistency I wanted to point out is that in the comic, Batman escapes a trap on Arkham Island set up by the Arkham Knight. And after this scene, we see Scarecrow say this dialogue, I will return Batman, you will pay for what you have done to me, fear will tear Gotham to shreds. This is an easter egg in Arkham City, you can hear this message on the radio. However, this comic stated that Crane says this after Arkham City, when in the game, you can hear it during Arkham City. This one's like a whatever continuity error, but I wanted to bring it up and I wanted to bring it up first. There's also a whole plot line where Joker, in his death, infects Gordon with the laughing gas serum, and Batman gets Harley and takes her to the steel mill to find a cure, and it turns out Harley had Croc hiding there prior, and Batman and Croc fight, like it's a whole big plot line that's never referenced in the game, it's kind of weird. And like Batman finds a canister in there that he lets Gordon drink, which cures him, which is like, okay, if that helps Gordon, why didn't Batman use this for the Joker infected people in Arkham Knight later? So see, that's kind of dumb. There's also a whole thing where Harley and her goons attack Bruce Wayne at some press conference and she cuts off one of Lucius's fingers. But in the game, Lucius still has all his fingers. So what? And Gordon states in Arkham Knight that Gotham's been quiet post Arkham City, but this comic is anything but quiet. And one of the most famous inconsistencies here in the comics, Jason Todd kills Bane. But the game states that Bane went to Santa Prisca and served his own justice there. So that's a huge inconsistency, right? Like, what are you going to pick, the comic or the game? Obviously the game. So yes, these are just a few of the inconsistencies, which makes the Arkham Knight comics not canon. But there's also another set of Arkham comics called Arkham Knight Genesis that focuses more on Jason Todd and some of his torture and things that he has done between Arkham Knight and Arkham City. So this is also not canon. Like for example, the way Jason got caught in this comic is not how it's depicted in the game. In the comic, there's a whole different plot and how he got caught and put into Arkham Asylum. In the game, his bio states something else, like he just went there and got lured by the Joker. It was two different stories. So the comic isn't canon. However, there are things in the comic that happen in some shape or form to me that I do kind of consider canon. Like in the Genesis comics, Jason gets tortured. We see it. In the game, he also gets tortured, but we never see what kind of torture he went through. So that's something I kind of think about. And like in this comic, it shows that Slade broke him out. The game never says how he escaped, but since he does work with Slade in the game, it is usually assumed by me and I think most of the community that Slade broke him out. Slade helped Jason to escape Arkham Asylum. So those are some things that I kind of consider canon more or less. But yes, this comic overall is not canon. And then to really get into the nitty and gritty, there's spin-off Arkham Knight comics too. Like there's a Batgirl Begins Arkham comic where it shows Barbara becoming Batgirl. It's a short story that's about Killer Moth capturing Gordon and Barbara puts on a bat suit to save him. So I, I'm just gonna say that since this doesn't contradict anything in the games, I will personally say for me that this is canon. 
it's not really like a big story or anything either but you know what i'm you know what i'm saying like it's just it is what it is there's also a robin special arkham knight comic that focuses on robin trying to find himself this takes place right after arkham city it's a pretty self-contained story of robin simply training in the back cave and going to school and doing robin things the one thing that makes this comic inconsistent to me is that the arkham knight appears and he sees tim doing robin stuff and says to himself that he has to kill robin for how annoying he can get but that's never elaborated on in the game so to me i feel like this isn't canon simply because this doesn't line up with jason todd's character i don't think jason would kill robin since he never wronged him he only wants batman dead so yeah i don't think this is canon and finally there's an arkham comic called batgirl slash harley quinn that i don't think is canon the story is basically harleen quinzel becoming harley quinn before breaking the Joker out of Arkham Asylum, and she goes on this whole rampage in the city in which Batgirl stops her. Like in Arkham Asylum, she becomes Harley Quinn once she does break Joker out. This comic just doesn't seem to be consistent with that fact, and because of that, I don't think it's canon. And there's also the Suicide Squad Kill the Just League prequel comics, which are not canon, and I'm not even going to talk about them. I already have videos discussing them in detail, so if you want to watch them, I have a playlist for that, just go look for it. But okay, let's just break it down, because this is all over the place. Let me try my best to discuss what is canon or not. So the five mainline Arkham games are canon. Asylum, City, Origins, Night, and Shadow. Everything else surrounding it is questionable or most likely just not canon. The problem is that nothing else in the Arkhamverse is confirmed to be canon or not, except for Suicide Squad, but we don't consider that canon. Everything is honestly up to your interpretation at that point, but when it gets to that point, it's just so weird, right? Like. If it gets to that point, it's just not canon. For me, the comics that I deemed to be canon in my own head, for you, it doesn't have to be. So here, on an official sense, just assume everything that's not the first five main Arkham games are not canon. Only, only the five main Arkham games are canon. I know they said Suicide Squad is canon, like Suicide Squad Killer Justice League, but a lot of people don't believe it, including myself. It, that has far too many inconsistencies. So with that said, I'll list what I think could be canon. Like, I think Road to Arkham is canon. I think the Batgirl spin-off Arkham Knight comic is canon, I guess. And after that, I like to believe Assault and Arkham the movie is canon. And there's elements of some of the comics that I think has happened. Like, I think Slade broke Jason out of Arkham. That's just me, though. And I think some of the torture we see Jason Todd going through has happened in some capacity. And, like, yeah, you see, that's just me. And you see how confusing it can get? Like, at that point, it's just me cherry-picking cherry picking on what's official or not but like i said no this is confirmed so take it all with a grain of salt but yes outside of what i think is canon for the billionth time only assume arkham asylum arkham city arkham origins arkham knight and arkham shadow has actually happened and everything else did not happen it is what it is but since nothing else is ever confirmed by the devs themselves besides suicide Squad, kill the just league but like i said that is not considered canon by most people that's just how it is if you think Suicide Squad Killer Justice is canon, like I said, that is perfectly fine. It's just, this is my point of view from my, for this video I'm making. It just doesn't line up with the games to me. It's very confusing, I know, but you let me know what you think is canon and if this video is confusing. I think it probably was. It should have been confusing, right? Because there's so much Arkham stuff that it all gets too complicated. But yeah, I know this video seems like a waste of time since, you know, nothing else is officially canon, but... I thought it would be entertaining to show you guys why the comics and other spin-off stuff just doesn't work. But if you enjoyed the video, a like, share, that stuff helps. I'm really trying to get to 100,000 subscribers this year. So if you guys can just subscribe, please, I would love that so much. Thank you. But besides that, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you on the next video. Stay safe and uh, peace.